Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, you have to surrender your stress, your fears, your worries, your family, your loved ones, your job, your money, your everyday plans, your pain, your weaknesses, your strengths, your everything, your life, my child. Yes, my child, for I want you to not only rely on me to help you and guide you through the tough times, but also through the easy, happy times also. Therefore, Stop putting your trust in man and come to me today. Yes, come to the cross and lay it all down to me, my child. Ask me to be with you and show you the way for you to go today. See, when you learn to fully submit to me daily, then you'll be able to overcome the devil. Yes, you'll be able to resist him and he will have no other choice but to flee from you, my child. Therefore, don't allow the troubles happening around you and within this world to get your focus off me and my good news, but rather press into me so that you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind through my word, my child. Yes, so that through correct discernment, my child, you'll be able to see the enemy's lies and the enemy's schemes and plots and expose them. I desire for you to correctly discern my will for your life, which is always good, acceptable and perfect for you. I am making things happen for you, even when you don't see it, even when you don't feel it, and even when it is not evident before you. Yes, I am working, my child, in the background, so trust in the waiting process as your prayers are working, my child. Yes, they are. You may feel lonely at times, my child, but I have never left you one single moment. You may feel tired, depressed, hurt and sad, but I will always be with you to hold you. I have a plan and it is unfolding whether you see it or perceive it and I am bringing you from my secret place. That's right, as you go and dwell in my secret place, you will receive downloads from heaven. I know that all things are in my hands, so therefore you must also understand it also. So when you surrender all to me, I will make all things new. Be at peace this day, knowing that I am with you and for you. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Acts 16, verses 24 to 26, it says, Having received such a charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. And verse 25 says, But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosened. Hallelujah. Have you ever been praying about a situation within your life and finding yourself waiting for a breakthrough? Are you wondering why the answer may have not come yet? When people wait patiently and expectantly, Wait on God in the midst of horrible circumstances. Suddenly, God can break through. So don't give up. Don't stop believing. Stay full of hope and expectation that God will answer your prayers. God's power is limitless and he will break through for you. Maybe someone that is so worried about those situations, but God is going to turn those situations around you and for you today. Hallelujah. Let us pray, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may we live for you even while we wait upon you. Help us to obey and remain faithful no matter how long we have to wait within this place, O Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you will answer our prayers in your perfect timing. Reveal what is in our heart and make us ready to handle the answer in the right way when it comes. Help us to pray for faith. Pray for faith constantly and long term. To believe, wait, and then move forward in your time. Help us, Lord, to be praying also patiently and for more patience. 
not to give up and trust that whatever's happening, Lord, that you will bring about your perfect will. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us to make matters, Lord, better within this world. Lord, give us the grace to continue. Lord, we come against every plot and ploy of the enemy right now. We terminate it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord, we pray we'll stretch our faith in the midst of the wait, just as, Lord, you did with your disciples, even when you're encountering a storm at sea. I thank you that you have all wisdom and, Lord, that you will answer the prayers within your perfect timing. Lord, we thank you today that you would teach us, O Lord. Loving Father, we pray that you would teach us how to prayerfully and patiently wait upon you and to come to a true understanding of what it really means to wait upon the Lord. Help us to still be alive to see all that you want us to see within this time. Lord, I thank you in all things, I pray. Lord, that as we learn to wait upon you, that we will grow deeper. So Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray that wells will start to spring spring forth within people's lives right now in the name of Jesus Christ as they put their trust in God and God alone. So Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, have your way. Have your way with each person's life today. Touch them by the power of the Holy Spirit. Fill them today. Fill them with your glory. Fill them with your glory. Fill them with your glory and your presence and your power. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Praise the Lord, precious saints. Well, I also have a few words from the Lord. There is someone, and the Lord is saying, there is someone that is so worried about tomorrow. And the Lord is saying that today's worries are sufficient. So surrender to me your tomorrows because he has it all in his hands. There is someone also with lower back pain. I want you to place your hand upon your lower back right now. And I'm going to pray the Lord to release you of that pain, that spirit to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, bring healing to that area of that body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring healing healing right now. Bring healing right now. Bring healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I also pray for someone, Lord, that has a sore thigh. Your thigh is sore. I want you to place your hand upon your thigh and believe God is also going to heal and to deliver you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I also pray for someone that is praying for a relationship, a relationship. You're not sure if this person is right or wrong. So Lord, I pray that you would give that person wisdom to know the truth, to know the truth of the spiritual elements of things taking place at the moment against God's work. So Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would just start to arise and help each person right now. There's someone that is going through a difficult time. There is actually people that have risen against you And God is saying that he is going to vindicate you right now. So just receive this vindication right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch your people. Lord, bring vindication to them. Lord, anybody else that has pain in their body, I declare healing and wholeness over those with COVID infection. Right now, complete wholeness. I also speak creative miracles in the lungs. If your lung has been affected, I want you to claim your healing over your lungs right now now maybe you were a former smoker or maybe you're a COVID person whatever it is just receive your healing right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and Lord I pray also for a financial breakthrough that is coming to a person as God has seen your faithfulness God has seen you trusting in him and God is going to provide for your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, you can also follow us and subscribe to us on uh, on YouTube, obviously, and Facebook, you can follow us there, and Instagram, you can follow us there. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious saints, you can also join one of our WhatsApp groups, and for all those that are anticipating 
waiting in coming to South Africa, make sure that you prepare to come now. You can see that the meetings are held in Birchwood, Johannesburg, in that place. So you have all the details there. You can arrange whatever you need to arrange for those that have the resources to do so plan to be there god is going to start to move in a powerful way he's already said and confirmed so many times through dreams visions prophecies god is really going to move in africa and it's not going to be like anything we've seen released upon the earth it's going to be awesome don't forget we've got the four day fasting this month of July as we cross over into August for a powerful mission in Africa. May the Lord bless you as you also partake of the Corporate Friday fasting each and every week. Everything is made available and encouraging you to press into God within this hour. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for your precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.